But my heart is broke over here, but there's nothing you can do. 77-year-old Bob Bellis of Wilkesbury has called Holy Savior Church his house of worship all of his life. I was baptized here. My mother was baptized here. After this weekend, Bellis and others who attend Mass at the House of Worship on Hillard Street will have to worship elsewhere as Holy Savior closes for good. I'm really disappointed. 85-year-old Edward Flaherty has been a parishioner at Holy Savior since 1969. Holy Savior consolidated in 2011 with two other churches to form St. Andre Bissette Parish. Flaherty claims not enough was done to preserve his neighborhood church that had a large Irish membership. It needs repairs. Look at it, you know. They didn't have to close this down. They, they could fix this church up. Flaherty was a former president of Holy Savior's Holy Name Society and joined others in trying to keep the church a vibrant, faith-sharing experience. I coached the boys and girls basketball teams for years. For many, Holy Savior Church is more than just sentimental. Behind me is a Pennsylvania historic marker that's dedicated to the church's founding pastor who knew President Teddy Roosevelt and was instrumental in bringing to an end the early 20th century anthracite strike. Now only two masses are left at the landmark site that help bring Holy Savior members closer to God and each other. Good things are forever. We've got to remember that, you know. So whatever happens now, it happens. In Wilkesbury, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. What's he going to say? Company He's going to say about that his, well, especially what I learned here, his hope when he came here, when he came here,